or what people hear when they actually see you um, or whatever. I hear a lot of the gurus talk about uh, branding as it relates to like a rock star or what have you. Now, uh, you have to make sure that when you are actually looking at branding that you're not caught up uh, in a whole self-absorbed thing. Um, just like some of the other presenters have talked about earlier, it's mainly about uh, what it is that you're looking to do. Like Kim said, she is fine if she helps one uh, person. You know, uh, uh, Miss Jackie right here, um, she has her particular books as it relates to the religious and faith community and things as well. Lisa with kids and so, um, and then Supreme with his, um, his, uh, oh wow, a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with, with the uh, self-publishing and things of that sort. And so, when you see the people who have been here today, there are consistent things that you hear with all of, of all of the people that have been up here, right? Okay? So what that is, what that basically is, is that is a what they're doing is building their platform. And when we think of a platform, what are the people we normally think of who have platforms? <laughs> yeah, those are the people who have platforms, exactly. So such is the same for you with your writing or whatever your particular topic is. For instance, with Queenly and Confidence, some of, uh, some, one of my platforms is that I want women and girls to be able to live and define what their actual royal life is. And so through the things that I tweet about, some of the, uh, the blog posts that I have, the Facebook posts and things of that sort, um, the contributions that I make to the uh, to books that I've written for, as well as magazines and things, it all has a part of that consistent theme, and the same is for you as well, okay? So we're going to talk about some of those things about how to kind of establish that particular platform. Um, a lot of things have been talked about today, so I'm not going to uh, try my best not to be redundant, but to just kind of uh, hone in and give you some skills. I'm also going to uh, send you all a list of um, basically free yes. to low cost resources that are available out there and help you with establishing your platform. Um, because in this day and time, uh, we have uh, all these resources that are available to us and you know, you don't have to chunk out a whole whole bunch of money, but you don't have to invest yes. and sacrifice if this is something that you are really being led and taught to do. And so one of the first things is brand. And we talked about the brand and what have you. And most times when you will see me, you will see me with purple on some sort. Like today I have on uh, purple and like Kim has on her particular <coughs> shirt as well. Um, and that's a part of your brand. Basically when you go, for instance, most of us know with Shirley Franklin, she created a brand on by wearing what? Uh, by wearing the flowers. So that's just a part of that as well. You know, if you don't think that you are a person that's polished enough, if you don't think that you're a person who um, has that savviness, um, find your image consultant. Queenly Thompson helps women with doing that, especially for women, uh, uh, for women who are uh, looking to recreate themselves. Um, as well, and so we help you in that area as well. One of the other things too is to um, to do some speaking and some workshops. Um, I think one of our other presenters talked about that uh, with different seminars. Um, get connected with people who are in your particular field. You may also want to host your own particular uh, webinars and things. Now webinars are really great because what they allow you to do is to reach people all over the world. One of the free services that's out there is called AnytimeMeeting.com. Now, sometimes Anytime Meeting, because it's free, it has some glitches, but um, the next one that I like to use is GoToMeeting as well. So you have that as well. Uh, another thing you probably hear people who have different conference calls where you can call in for information and things. So you have FreeConferenceCall.com, FreeConferencing.com, uh, FreeConferencePro.com. So those resources and things are available as well. Now what I like about freeconferencepro.com is that they actually have a service when you call in, you know, it'll call, you are calling the Queen of the Confidence Hotline, da 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 And so it gives you that, uh, more of that professional edge um, for your particular uh, brand and your organization and things of that sort, okay? Um, so the next thing is uh, talking is to, you know, to actually to do some writing. Just like uh, Supreme said, if you're not willing to read, uh, don't be willing to write because for the most part, why would somebody want to hear if you're not constantly working on yourself? It's, it's a constant daily thing and it should be a part of your uh, weekly routine if not your daily routine. One of the things I do, because I spend a lot of time on social media, I have a bookmark for my Friday readings. And so on Friday I spend a lot of time and I sit and read and read and read different things that either help me personally, things that help me spiritually or also professionally as well. And so I encourage you to do the same, okay? Um, one of the things we've been talking about here about books, 
books basically help with promoting your uh, platform and actually helping you <coughs> establish yourself as an expert in your particular fan, your brand and field. Like, for instance, with Kim, uh, as far as I'm concerned, she is the queen, as far as I'm concerned, of people who are laid off and basically telling you how to navigate that whole process. So you can do the same as well. Um, my book that will be finished right, thank you God, at the end of this year is called The People Call. Um, and it is, a, it is a, going to be a really small book and it's about how to command positive attention uh, with people when you walk into a room or wherever you go. Because regardless of what people say, it's not that you're trying to get all oh, eyes on you, you know, like Tupac or anything like that. But it's basically how to come in and to present yourself so that people want to know who you are when you enter the room. So that's important as well. Um, the other thing is too is about having the opportunity to pitch yourself on different radio shows. This past week I did a radio show on Family Matters where I talked about uh, young women and talked about self-esteem and a whole lot of issues dealing with young girls and things of that sort. And so based on some of my backgrounds some things that I've done, I was asked to do this particular show. You also have those opportunities in and throughout town to do that. Start getting in circles of people throughout town who have that. The uh, Black Chamber of Commerce here is a very good group to start that with. Connecting with people who have like minds, who are looking to move or you know forward and not backwards. You know that's a whole nother topic for another day. 